Have you ever been printing along nicely with your Epson? And all of a sudden, boom, it happens. The infamous Epson cartridge error. It always seems to strike at the worst time when you have a rush order, your last piece of 13 inch by 19 inch paper, or on one of the most important projects you've ever done. Boom, it just rears its ugly head and decides it doesn't know what the heck ink cartridge is currently in there. Well, today we're going to tackle fixing that issue altogether by using chipless firmware to ignore those pesky ink cartridges once and for all. This will save you time, money, and most importantly, frustration. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, first we'll cover what is chipless firmware. And chipless firmware is simply custom instructions that overwrite the default uh, instructions that are stored on your printer as far as how it processes things, how it, uh, how it detects the chips that are in the cartridges themselves. Um, and, and all it does is modify the default behavior of that to, to get rid of some un, unneeded or unwanted uh, side effects for sublimation specifically. For our next topic, why would you want to go chipless? Um, we've all had it happen if you've been printing with the workforce anytime. Uh, you, you start printing a nice expensive piece of sublimation paper and all of a sudden your printer decides that it doesn't know what printer cartridge you have in there. Um, and it randomly just stops mid print and like, nah, I don't know what, what this is. I have no idea what you're talking about. And this waste, uh, waste your time. It wastes paper. It potentially wastes ink. It's just a mess. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Anybody that's uh, run one of these printers has experienced it. The reasons this, this happens is that the printer cartridges most people use have an, what's called an auto reset chip, which is when the ink level gets to a critical point, the chip automatically resets and it causes the printer to be like, I don't know what this, I don't know what this ink cartridge is. You're going to have to tell me. So then you have to reset it and it wastes paper and it's just, it's just bad. So why you would want to go uh, chipless is no more random ink uh, printer cartridge errors. You're not going to waste paper. Um, the printer is always going to show full ink all the time. And on top of that, it's super easy to install. As, as you'll see in this video, it only takes about five minutes. Uh, the first step is one of the easiest. You simply turn the printer off. Uh, hit the printer off and go to off. Told, told you it's easy. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, hook up our USB cable. Uh, we're gonna try to record this. I'm trying not to get in the way, try not to get in the light. The USB on these things is on this side. So we are going to just go ahead and hook them up. We're using an Amazon cable. It's gotta be this way. And plug it right on up. And it'll give you a nice firm click in and you will be good to go. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit. And that's exactly where it goes. All right, guys, next up, we're trying to try to get it into program update mode. And to do that, you hold uh, four, seven job status and the power button. And you will see Something a little different than normal. You'll see a, let's see, a device update mode screen instead. Let's try to focus on that. There we go. All right, guys, and we're here at the, uh, the, it's it's inkchip.net is who you get the uh, the software and firmware through, um, 
and it's it's inkchip.net forward slash soft. I'll go ahead and put the uh, URL in the description below. Um, that way it's just one click away. And what you do is you go to your printer, printer model, and we are doing the workforce uh, 7710, 7720s, and you just download both of those, and you can download the instructions or watch their video on how to do it as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very straightforward. You'll get these two files. One will be a RAR file, so you'll need WinRAR to, uh, to, to decrypt that. And see, it's going to prompt you, obviously. Um, but see, here's everything. You, what you can do is you can just, once you get WinRAR, you can just drag it in there. And it'll uncompress it for you. And there's your firmware and there's your activation. And what you'll want to do first, you'll want to run the, uh, the firmware first. Let's see. Which is this folder. And you'll want to do the firmware. And click Yes. And it's, it's going to launch the application. Then you just click Next. You're going to want to Agree. Precautions for update, um, which means it'll clean it'll clean out the queue and all that. Um, printer's own printer is in the uh, the right mode, so we're good to go. Go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see. Yep, we want to go ahead and do that firmware, and we hit start, and we proceed with the update. And you'll see we, this light will be blinking as it's uh, as it's installed in the firmware, and then when it's done, it'll all flash. And there we go. Uh, the update has been successful. It'll say uh, program update mode finished. And from there, uh, you'll see all the lights will be blinking and everything. Uh, from there, you can hit zero to exit the mode. And from there, you can just uh, simply turn the printer back on. Keep in mind, the USB, connect USB connection is still on there. so And it should boot up just fine and show full ink. All right, then you go to the activation with uh, the activation key. Do that. Go ahead and change it to English. You'll want to generate, activate online. You'll input your serial number. Hit OK. It'll get the code, and it'll write the code to the printer, and you're good to go. Now you can uh, restart it by pressing the power button to go ahead and get it all back to, back to good to go. So we'll go ahead and do that right quick. All right, so now we're just going to restart the printer. There we go. Then we'll just turn it right back on. And now our printer is back out running the, the chipless firmware. So in theory, it should show, uh, show full inks, I think. Just got to grab all the stuff, and we are good to go. Now, see, it's showing full inks on everything. Where before it wasn't doing that, so therefore we know the firmware took. Uh, we have Wi-Fi. We're good to go. So now we can go ahead and uh, disconnect the USB cable over here on the side and we can get it back, uh, back to running normal. All right, now we got Photoshop open. We're gonna go ahead and try to just print something. We'll just do it on like plain paper settings or something just to see. Yep. Good old printer profile. High premium presentation mat. Um, yeah, we're going to resize that to like nine inches wide or something. Yeah, like nine inches wide, bro. Now we can print. We're going to go ahead and do it on uh, just plain paper settings high quality plane and we're just going to do standard just to, just to get something printing uh, we're going to turn off high speed we're not going to mirror we're going to mirror the image 
We're just gonna see how it goes. There we go. Yeah, because I told the premium presentation that. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna go ahead and drum through this, and really, we're just making sure we can communicate with the printer. So there we go. Easy. Looks good. So, and that's how you uh, switch it to chipless. All right, guys, that's how you do the chipless firmware upgrade for the Epson Workforce printers. Uh, no more of this crap. No more running out of ink mid-print. Nothing like that. It's always going to show full ink no matter what you're doing. And it's going to be way easier to use and it's going to be less stupid problems. Also, inkchip.net is actually a sponsor for this video, and you can use code SOUTHPAW, all caps, uh, to get 10% off your order. So if you were on the, on the verge of going chipless anyway, you might as well save a little money. I mean, you know how it is. But yeah, um, no more of this crap. And it's overall, it's a win. Super easy to do, just takes a couple minutes. Probably the easiest upgrade you'll ever do for your printer. Save you a lot of frustration. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to do more videos, guys, but it's been hot as crap here. Um, this is what the weather looks like this week, and running a heat press in a, in a spare bedroom kind of sucks when it's, when it's that hot outside. Our heat and air is not, not cut out for it. But um, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel for future content, for sublimation tutorials, things like that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.